Hi, I'm Dr. Cage. Let's talk about face bills. Let's go. So you can see these holes that's in your bite fork. That is where you will apply your bite registration material. Apply the material to your bite fork. You really don't need too much. You can use this material, which is PVS bite registration material, or you can use wax. The problem with the wax is that it can distort with temperature. Place your bite fork in the mouth and stabilize it with your hand. There's a notch in the front of the bite fork. Be sure that lines up with the midline. Once the material is set, you can stabilize it with cotton rolls. Just be sure that it isn't rocking. On your face bowl, you can see in this circular area, there's actually a flat part and you'll match that up with your transfer jig. So go ahead and insert your transfer jig onto your bite fork. Direct your patient to put the face bow into the ears to where it's comfortable. And then just go ahead and demonstrate to them that you can pull it out and squeeze it in. We're determining the vertical position. We're using the orbitale as our reference point. Now you can use the reference pointer, but that can make a patient anxious. So what I normally do is look to the side of the patient and to make sure that the face bow is lined up with my reference mark. And we also need to make sure that the face bow is level. You can either use the interpupillary line or the level. Using the level will allow me to proper replicate a patient's cant on my articulator. The second position is your sagittal plane. So you just want to make sure that the fit in the left and right direction is passive on your bite fork. Your third position is anterior posterior. So just be sure that your transfer jig isn't stuck on your bite fork and that the position is passive. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to follow us on Instagram at 89 Central Dentistry. Bye.